U.S. insurance companies' private equity investments grew by about 25% in 2021, the biggest year-over-year increase in recent years. I'm John Weber for AM Best TV. With us to discuss a new report on the subject is Jason Hopper, Associate Director, Industry Research and Analytics, and Michael Lynch, Associate Analyst, both of AM Best. And Mike, as I just mentioned, investment in PE grew substantially last year. Was that a surprise given the pandemic environment? Uh, the increase in overall book value for private equity came almost equally from appreciation and addition of new investments. A number of factors played into this. Uh, one such factor is that a number of transactions were put on hold at the start of the pandemic, and as companies were able to adapt and adjust to the remote working environment, these transactions were realized in 2021. So that's where we see a lot of the new acquisitions coming in is that companies just simply weren't able to make these in 2020. Uh, additionally, the low correlation with traditional investments in the low interest rate environment has made private equity an attractive source of diversification for these companies. And given the low correlation with, with traditional investments, uh, private equity could be something that we continue to see being used by insurers. And like 10 insurers, most of them life insurers, account for most of the holdings and the growth. What's driving that? Well, there has been strong growth from PC insurers and private equity investments. As you said, the vast majority of holdings and growth still come from life insurers, and almost all of which have in excess of $2 billion in capital and surplus. Some of these organizations even have the resources to have their own uh, in-house affiliated fund managers, and this gives them the control, diligence, and expertise to uh, make their private equity investments. Jay, with interest rates on the rise and talk of a possible recession, what should we be looking for going forward? You know, I, I kind of think it'll be more of the same. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty um, in the entire world economy. Um, you're talking interest rate hikes in the United States, uh, the global uh, conflict in Ukraine with Russia, you know, a, a number of headwinds that the economy is facing. Um, while we don't necessarily expect returns to kind of match uh, 2021, we do, as Mike said, expect insurers to continue to seek diversification. They are going to continue to seek uh, higher yields compared to the uh, you know, typical bond market asset class. Um, and that, that lack of correlation between private equity and the uh, general investments um, is something that insurers will continue to take advantage of. Jason, Mike, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks, John. Thank you. That was Jason Hopper, Associate Director, Industry Research and Analytics, and Michael Lynch, Associate Analyst, both of AM Best. You can find the full report online at ambest.com. For AM Best TV, I'm John Weber.